So guys, welcome back to tutorials point. Now in this video, we will be seeing how the locator that is the name locator works. Say for example, I'm having an input element and I'm not given an ID to, the, to that particular element. So in that case, I might give a name. So, you know, similar to ID, we have a name for each element. We mentioned as name equal to name of the element. It is mentioned in double quotes. So say I have input name equal to username. Now this name can be used in my selenium commands or my selenius commands to perform an action on this particular input box. So now let's quickly go to our screens in our Mozilla Firefox and see how we can find out the name of this particular element or any element or for that matter. As you have already discussed about the locator by name, uh, locator by name is quite similar to ID. Uh, just a matter of fact is that we, sometimes we pass the name in spite of passing the ID of a particular element. Now uh, let's see like uh, how we can actually find the name tag or uh, like what can be the parameters and how we, we can actually use this one into our application or into our web driver scripts, right? For this purpose, I would request you to kindly open up your Firefox. Onto the Firefox, navigate to the home page of Google search engine or the google.com landing page. In this page, now let's uh, let's choose any element. Like let me choose this particular search box and see if I can locate this element by using the name, right? So. As you already discussed, we have an option of choosing the element, uh, the by default uh, Firebug or the by default browser debugging tools. Or in case of Firefox, uh, if you have installed Firebug, then you can use the Firebug ob obviously also. Since I'm having the Firebug installed, I would you know inspect the element with the with the Firebug, and here is it right. The ID that was given was LSTIB. Now the name given is Q. Now by this what I can do is I can simply pass Q and this uh, this Q name or this Q you know string would actually help me identify this element on this web page. Obviously guys you need to make sure that the name or any tag that you are passing or any parameter or any you know property you are passing of an element it has to be unique if in case there are more than one occurrences then the web driver returns the very first one occurrence of that particular element right now what we will do is we will, we will quickly go to our eclipse and you know from there we would be used this using this name queue and would type something into this particular search box for google.com so here's my Eclipse. In the locator by name demo project, I go to new. I create a new class as uh, name demo. Obviously, I want the main method to be here. And here in the main method, I first of all set the property. After setting up the property, I need to get the web driver first up and running. I named the web driver as driver equal to new mounted driver. After this, oh, obviously it's giving me an error saying to import the particular web driver. I import this, the error is gone. Now, I need to get or I need to load the by default page or the landing page of Google that is HTTP colon double slash www dot google dot com. So here I am trying to load the landing page of google dot com. After here, I pass a system dot out dot println saying Google landing page opens up. You know, like why we are doing this, like the system out print element, just to be double sure that all our operations are actually, you know, running successfully onto our web driver. There is no other purpose than this doing, uh, you know, adding the system out print element. You can also use them 
or you can also use the console logs for this particular purpose. So after this now I need to get the element first right. So web element I name it as search equal to driver dot find element here I pass by dot name in the name I pass Q right it sounds very much interesting uh, Q right so this is the by default uh, the by default syntax you use you are finding an element using the name parameter and trying to you know work on this particular parameter after this I'll first empty this or would pass the clear what would clear do actually clear would actually clean if any text is pre-typed or is pre-present on this particular uh, search box or in this particular element right you need not to worry about these commands they would be covered you know, these would be covered when we covered the input uh, input controls or input box in details in the upcoming sessions right so here I type the function as send keys and I type right nothing much to be done and after this I'll again pass a system.out.println saying the the text should be shown on the Google search box so I'll quickly run this I need to just cross check if there's any error no none I just quickly run this and see this working on my system so it opens the Google page it types to this point and this is the instant search result so working on and if you look at it we are successfully able to run our particular test case right Google landing page opens up the text should be shown in the Google search box and we were able to see the total point uh, written on the Google search box so guys this was all about using locators by name thank you all for tuning in stay tuned as we take you through the other locators in detail